to talk real quick about Bernie Born. All of you, how many of you know Bernie? I just told this story last week and it brought down the house. So Bernie's not here, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. I've been telling it for years. <clears throat> Bernie and I grew up together in Crest, Texas. Uh, 400 people, 398 now that we left town. It's between Amarillo and Lubbock. <clears throat> Bernie and I are new, new guys on the football team. In little small towns in Texas, if you don't play football, you're nothing. So we're playing football, we're not too good. Bernie's a freshman, I'm a sophomore, and uh, we're, our manager is Ed Rogers, he's our age. And Ed uh, is disabled, got a little arm problem, so he carries a, a, a bag of material, liniment, shoestrings, bandages, things that you know we need playing football. Uh, the coach, we're playing Happy Texas, our arc rifle, and the coach has given us a hellfire and brimstone. We're about to bust the hinges off the door and go kick Happy's ass. <laughs> and Bernie is tightening up the shoes, uh, his shoestrings on his cleats, and he breaks his shoestring. He quickly, we're about to leave and go out on the field. He, he's got the shoestring in two pieces. And he t says to our manager, Ed Rogers, he said, Ed, quick, get in a shoestring. I broke, I broke my shoestrings. And Ed said, okay. And he goes through the duffel bag. He's looking, looking, looking. He comes up, he's got a brand new set of shoestrings. He tells Bernie, I'm sorry, Bernie, I've only got one left and somebody might need it. <laughs> so, I got to tell you that Bernie went on and became the captain of the team and his senior year and was a real star. But anyway, another story about Bernie. We were traveling, we were away game at Silverton, Texas, and we kicked some butt. And we're on our way home, and in those days, the, the wealthy parents could buy you dinner, anybody. They could give you money for that. Now you can't do that. That's, but back then, so one of the guys' dad says, we've already got a cafe on the way home. They're staying open for us. Everybody gets a steak dinner. Some of us have never been to a restaurant and got a steak, you know, before. So we're, imagine all these boys lined up here, and we're hungry. And the waitress is going down through the, and how do you want your steak? And this kid says he takes it to medium. Goes to Vernie, and Vernie looks around, and he says, I'll take a large. <laughs> You've never been to a restaurant or a steak before. You didn't want no damn medium. 